uh, Porygon 2. With the ability trace allowing you to copy the opponent's ability once you skill swap the trace ability while neutralizing gas is active, swap into Shinninger, then swap out of the neutralizing gas, reactivating trace which copies the Wonder Guard, then sign out the Porygon 2 to trace the Wonder Guard ability. That's pretty much GG. Hey there people, it's your favorite Weedle Twin Sun Aurora, and I have something kind of embarrassing I have to admit to you guys. No, it's not that I find Incineroar hot, you guys already knew that. I did not know that you could trace Wonder Guard with the trace ability. Bruh. And this is kind of embarrassing because as the trace Gardevoir master, I should know better. I figured that because skill swap doesn't work on Wonder Guard, roleplay doesn't work on Wonder Guard, you know, uh, receiver doesn't work on Wonder Guard, wandering spirit doesn't work on Wonder Guard, I just assumed that trace wouldn't work on Wonder Guard, but apparently it's always worked on Wonder Guard ever since you no know, abilities came out in Gen 3. With this information, with this information, I found a strategy that is VGC legal, first of all. Much easier to set up than those Shedinja strategies. Now, I do know that there's strategies where you can use like Mimic on Shedinja and then like use Entrainment and then like Mimic the Entrainment and then like use Entrainment to give Wonder Guard. I know those strategies exist. I've used them on my channel before, so uh, I do know these strategies exist. But I found a strategy that is much easier to set up and it's really big brain. So to pull off this jet, you're going to need four specific Pokemon. The first Pokemon you're going to need, of course, the thumbnail Pokemon, the reason why you're all here, Porygon 2 or Porygon if you're feeling quirky. We're using an event Porygon they gave out during the Players Cup, and it's in a Cherish Ball, and it's been rotting in my PC for like over a year, so I wanted to give it some usage. And uh, yeah, that's the traceability, which is perfect. The second Pokemon we're going to need, a favorite of ours on the channel, is Gardevoir. With the traceability, I have an entire video, a montage of Showdown clips where Gardevoir just like kicks ass. Unfortunately, in this video, Gardevoir is going to be taking a more supportive role. They're going to be a side character in this anime, but we are okay with that. I'm just happy I get to use Gardevoir on this team. The next Pokemon we're going to use is Shedinja. Now, Shedinja, of course, is essential because if the opponent doesn't have Shedinja, that means we have to use the Shedinja. And last but not least, we need Weezing on our team, specifically Neutralizing Gas. So you could use Coughing if you're feeling different, but we're using Galarian Weezing just because it learns a move that regular Weezing does not. I don't know. Galarian Weezing is just iconic. So that is the team we're going to be using for this battle. And without further ado, let's get into the battle where I showcase this amazing strategy. Okay, so we're up against Joy, who is the very original 420 trainer card number. Love that for her. I have a theory that the people who have the 420 trainer card are the same people who make smoking their like whole personality. Do y'all agree with my theory? Do you feel called out? Let me know in the comments. My opponents go lead off with Ndidi and Stakataka, as I decide to lead off with my Gardevoir and my Weezing, which is essential. They're necessary for the strategy to work because neutralizing gas disables the trace ability on top of all the other abilities which is necessary. I just want to point that out that's very 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 important. So my opponent's only go for follow me as I go for the skill swap directly into the Ndidi to give Ndidi the trace ability which is only possible thanks to neutralizing gas. So we're gonna give the Ndidi the trace ability, take away Psychic Surge, and I'm gonna go for a Toxic as well into the Ndidi because the Pokemon I choose to skill swap, you're probably gonna wanna put on a timer or Toxic just because if you don't, they'll become pretty annoying to deal with, which you'll see why momentarily. So my opponent decides to go for Heavy Slam instead of going for Trick Room, which I'm kinda grateful for because um, reversing the speed order would have actually messed up the strat. But uh, indeed, he's going to take some poison damage. Gardevoir's going to faint, but that's fine because I'm going to bring in Shedinja here. And you're probably thinking, Weedle, neutralizing gas disables Wonder Guard. You're a dumb dumb, but. I'm not crazy! So we're going to switch out Weezing, reactivate all abilities, which includes Trace. And Didi's going to copy Wonder Guard. <gasps> that's why we poisoned it. We're going to bring in Porygon 2. And of course, we're going to Trace and get the Wonder Guard. So that is how you can easily give Wonder Guard to Porygon 2 in like one turn. Like, this really doesn't take much setup at all. And we have some bonus tech on this team as well. We're going to go for Trick, and we're going to give the Porygon Air Balloon, as Stack Attack is going to go for the Rock Slide. Wonder Guard's going to block that, and uh, Shininja is going to skillfully dodge it. This tech right here isn't even necessary. Just giving Shedinja, who only has one weakness, Wonder Guard, with the Eviolite, it, it becomes really difficult to knock out. But I wanted to make, like, an actual unkillable Porygon, so we go for the conversion. And you guessed it, we're going to become an electric type because Thunderbolt is in our first slot and that's how conversion works. It makes uh, the first move in your move set, it makes you that type. And uh, that's a really cool move in my opinion. And uh, body press isn't going to work because I am now an electric type on an air balloon, which means I have no weaknesses with the Wonder Guard. There's no way you can directly hit me unless you have Mold Breaker as your ability. 
which is really cool. And uh, obviously you can go for Toxic, you can go for Parish Song, but Toxic is like never seen in VGC, you know, unless you're using it on this team. <laughs> I thought, you know, Toxic was pretty good to deal with the Wonder Guard. You, uh, you can use your own poison to deal with the Wonder Guard to give the opponent. It's kind of genius, actually. My opponent's gonna Dynamax the Glass Jr. I'm sort of surprised they haven't given up yet, just because, like, Porygon 2 is immortal. But um, there actually is a pretty big flaw with this team. Well, there's actually many flaws in this team, you, as you would imagine, but there's a pretty big flaw with the team where neutralizing gas kind of can work against you because you disable your own Wonder Guard, but that also allows you to deal with the opposing Wonder Guard to give to the opponent, so it's like a double-edged sword. Neutralizing gas can allow you to deal with the Wonder Guard you give to the opponent. I don't know, this team is just so funny to me. I, it's like it's so bad that it's good. Like, you're using a Shedinja with a neutralizing gas, like normally that's a horrible idea, but just because of how the strategy works, it's actually like genius. But like from an outsider perspective, using Shedinja with Weezing's like, you know, really bad idea. And I, I just think that it's amazing. I think it's amazing. So we're gonna bring in Weezing here, activate neutralizing gas, and uh now Wonder Guard is not active. But as you can see, we have electric type on an air balloon with Wonder Guard, so we're actually immortal. I even take a picture just so I, I had it on my switch because I was kind of proud of that. And now I'm gonna Dynamax my Porygon too. And the reasoning for that is because I wanted to showcase right here that you do have the option to go for max guard. A fun fact, this is actually the first battle I played in game with this team, and I just pulled it off perfectly, which I was kind of happy about because I thought it would take a lot of attempts to pull this off for a reason I'll explain why after the battle. But I'm going to go for Memento into Glass Drear, knocking out my own Weezing, so neutralizing gas goes away. Obviously, if you're an immortal Porygon too, they're going to ignore the Weezing so they can deal with the Porygon. But using Memento... I I could have also went for Max Guard there to protect myself while I went for Memento, but uh, because of the fact that Weezing's faster in both of those Pokemon, I didn't have to worry about that. And I can go for a Max Lightning, which is Sab now because I am an Electric type. But uh, because of the Air Balloon, some counter synergy here, I don't get the Terrain Boost from the uh, Max Lightning. But you can still do it without, like if you just conversion with Eviolite and become an Electric type, those Max Lightnings can really hurt. And you can kind of like speed up the game because you can actually timer stall the strategy pretty easily. It's pretty fast to set up, but if the opponent is like, you know, can play slow around your Porygon, they could definitely timer stall you. But I wasn't like trying to win a tournament with this team, of course. I am all for the content, so I just wanted to use it for fun. A uh, Max Quake does not work on me because of the air balloon, even though I'm an electric type. Um, maybe my opponent forgot about that, but now they're gonna bring in Dust Claps here. They're gonna be reminded about the air balloon with Frisk, which is kind of funny. And uh, there's nothing my opponent can do. Dust Claps could be annoying and just like spam Pain Split and uh, be, just be a hindrance, but I do think I would eventually beat them. Try to ignore my dog in the background, I apologize. But yeah, we're gonna go for Max Lightning here into Glass Year and just try to knock it out because like they only have two Pokemon left. So uh, Icicle Crash, you know, not gonna hit me. And then, you know, Nightshade not gonna hit me. My dog couldn't pick a better time to bark. It couldn't have picked a better time but yeah we're gonna you know our dynamax is gonna wear off but at this point like there's nothing my opponent can do <laughs> like there's just nothing my opponent can do um and i think they realize this and forfeit this turn or the next turn i forgot but i go for thunderbolt here and I i'm assuming because i didn't cut it out they forfeit here so yeah the unkillable porygon 2 wins the battle um, my first try too, and I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that battle. I kind of felt bad using this team, so I do decide to actually like not fight any more real opponents with this team. And I wanted to do some more testing with the team as well. So we're gonna go to the battle tower here. And I wanted to showcase one of the biggest flaws there is with this team, which some of you guys may have already noticed, but I'm going to showcase to you guys anyway. So we're going to go for Skill Hop and a Stunfisk, give it Trace, and then we're going to switch out of the Gardevoir here. I kind of like cut out some of this so you guys aren't here all day, but we're going to switch out Gardevoir, bring in the Shedinja, and then we're going to, you know, swap out the Weezing and bring in the... Uh, Porygon, of course. So, you know, abilities are going to reactivate. Sunvest is going to trace, copy Wonder Guard. But now we're going to bring in Porygon 2. And then we're going to go for our own trace. But as you can see, oh. we're going to copy the pressure instead of the Wonder Guard. So that is the biggest flaw with this team by far. Um, you can trace the wrong ability 50% of the time. So that is the main flaw with this team. But I did come up with a strat where you can make it guaranteed. However, it's very difficult to set up and it requires using an overheat Weezing with an eject pack. I do set up the same setup again here in this battle. I overheat, knock out the Glaceon, and then we're going to activate our eject pack after we knock out the Glaceon. Currently, Flareon has the trace ability, as you'll see. We're going to switch out of the Weezing, neutralizing that's going to wear off. Flareon's going to get the trace, get Wonder Guard, and then we're going to bring in Porygon 2, who 
can guarantee get the Wonder Guard because Overheat knocked out the opponent. So that is a way you can set up the Wonder Guard guaranteed. So I just wanted to showcase that. And here are the rental codes for this team. So this is the first rental code. There's actually two of them. I recommend you test this out in Battle Tower or like against your friends for fun or on the casual ladder. Not in ranked, but are people going to listen to me? Uh -oh. No. Well, and Neil is not responsible for the points you lose using this team. The Gardevoir is actually Choice Scarf because if they are faster than you and have Taunt, that could be really bad. But thanks to Neutralizing Gas, you actually disable the uh, Prankster ability. So, you know, Tornadus or like... Uh, Whimsicott can't taunt you before you skill swap them, which is really nice. Without Choice Scarf, they still can, so that's why we are Scarf on the Gardevoir. And then we have a trick to end game stuff like Ferrothorn, disable to disable moves that can knock out Porygon 2 while it has Wonder Guard. And then Moonblast is just to hit Urshifu because Urshifu is a threat. So that is the first team. Now, this is the second team I made. It has the exact same Pokemon, just different movesets. Uh, the main difference is the Weezing, for sure. The Weezing is not defensive. It's max special attack, max speed, so it's much easier to knock out. But um, you kind of need the extra damage to actually knock stuff out with Overheat. And uh, you might need to ship stuff down with, like, Sludge Bomb first, too. So it does take much more than one turn to set up the uh, guaranteed Wonder Guard with this. But, you know, it might be worth it just because the Coin Flip isn't really worth it for most people. So um, I decided to, you know, give a team with, you know, the eject pack wheezing because I thought it was a cool idea. Um, the Shedinja set is the exact same, except we got rid of Poltergeist 4 indoor because if Shedinja is going to be out on the field while wheezing is out on the field, obviously your Wonder Guard won't be active. I could have given it the Sash, but I really wanted to keep the uh, conversion trick air balloon for people who wanted to use the actual immortal Wonder Duck. But yeah, that's the main difference with the Shininja. Regigigas is exactly the same. Ditto is exactly the same. Um, Gardevoir is different. We decided to get rid of Choice Scarf for Bibiri Berry. And uh, that means you can get taunted by stuff like Whimsicott and Tornadoes. But um, yeah, screw that. Um, some people might not want to be locked into Scarf Skill Swap, which is totally understandable. We still have Disable just because. But I think Disable could come in handy. I, I just haven't tested this team enough. So maybe there's better options. And then Destiny Bond is a cool tech because if you are in a situation where it's like Gardevoir and Porygon versus a Wonder Guard Pokemon and they're trying to knock out your Gardevoir, I mean, you could Destiny Bond them at the last second and then take them out as well, ignoring their Wonder Guard. So that's a cool, that's a cool idea. And that pretty much sums up the team. If you enjoyed the team and the video and you haven't done so already, please leave a like on the video. It takes a second and it really helps out my channel and helps with the algorithm, helps me stay relevant. And I do have a Discord server, which I will leave in the description. It's a community Discord free to join and uh, it's been kind of quiet lately. So I would appreciate if you join, give it some activity. I'm going to try to be more active on Discord and uh, YouTube. So hopefully I can keep that up. I also have a Twitter. I'll leave that in the description. I'm much more active on Twitter than I am on YouTube because I'm addicted to Twitter. But that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. I love you all very, very much. Not as much as I love Incineroar, but pretty damn close.